Hey, Mark Nelson here. Today what I want to do is share with you how you can take advantage of the group insights when you're building your group. Now, this is a fairly new group for me, so I have some things available and I won't have others, but I think I can take you through and show you how everything works. This is my group. It's affiliate marketing success with Mark, and that might change. We'll see. You can change your cover group at any time. Um, I guess I kind of like this because I like blue. But on the left-hand side of the menus, you're going to go down here, and you have group insights. Okay, now I have put this available with my page, and I have two pages, if you remember, if you watched the other one. But in the group insights, this is the ones I use the most. The learning post completed, and again, this is a brand new group, so I'm kind of teaching you how to work with this. This is geared towards affiliate marketing. I have a group that's a, geared towards attraction marketing, et cetera. This is, I have 27 new members in the last 28 days, which is really pretty cool, and I'm working on that. And the, the key is, is the other day, if you watched the first uh, post on how to set up your profile, I talked about how to fix everything in the back end of your group so Facebook starts recognizing what your group is all about and will actually start to put it on. But the key is to get 500 members. You have to work to get that. Um, I have 186 post comments and reactions plus 45%. So that's what I pay attention to. So if you scroll down here, I'm starting out with the first unit. That's all I've set up. So right now we're going to have zero. If I can say completions, I'm not going to go in there because there's none yet, but there will be because I'm just starting to make out these units. And now I have more growth. This is the growth detail. So if I click on this, it's going to show me the total members. And right now I have, you can see it started out. I started this group on June 27th, I had, I shouldn't say that, I started out on about June 12th, and I had 30 here, and then I started growing. Uh, I was asking more people to grow and, and whatnot. And so here's, if I go down below, I have 22 approved in the last 28 days. I don't know how many of this was. I declined six, and I declined six because I asked questions. And right, it, when you have a group, what you find is you end up having um, people come in and spam. And, and I, I, it just, I ask them not to, but they do spam. And, and when you don't want spammers on here, I haven't blocked anybody yet, but I'm getting pretty close. So that is my group insights. Now, if I go the last, and this one shows the last 28 days, I can change that. To how many days I want, if I want to say the last seven and see the different things. But what I want to do over here is go to more engagement details. Because if I click on engagement, it changes. Last 28, 28 days. And what's going to tell you is I have 34 posts since I joined this. And I, I'm going to build on this. I'm going to work on it. Active members, I have 33 members. And then down here, it tells me the popular times to post. See, this is through June 11th through July 9th. Uh, it, I have Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So if I click on Wednesday, it says like probably 6 p.m. If I had four posts on a Wednesday. If I go to my Saturday, it says the post where I had five posts at, it looks early in the morning so it kind of gives you a time when you should be doing more activity and whatnot um, so if I go uh, this is if I want to download this I do not want to download this if I want to look at more member details these are my members I had plus four if I go more member details, because I want to look at that, this shows my top contributors in comments. And right now, I'm mostly getting comments, and that's okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start running little contests and have a giveaway. If 
Uh, Kimberly's made it uh, six comments. Sherry, Shara Ann had put two two posts up herself. They were her Facebook lives, but they were weren't what I was really looking for. So I, I kind of stopped what that's happening. But when you do this, using these insights will help you as you grow. Now, this is a video, so two things what's going to happen is I'm going to put this on. I, I'm using a screen capture with Camtasia. I'm going to stop this, and then I'll put it on to YouTube, but I'll also put it in here as a video. I'm going to change my... Uh, pin post because I have more things going on. This was what I, I did yesterday, how to set up your Facebook growth for optimum conversions. And then I'm going to put on another one. It's uh, actually came on twice. How do you like that? Ha! I love, no, I put, that was where I put it in the units. But th I hope that helps you. This is, uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm finishing up my um, ebook on how to set up your social media groups. And that's talking all about this. So we will talk again with you tomorrow. I'm excited about what's going on here. And we will continue to grow this group. Ask friends to join. This is getting to be a very exciting stuff that we got going on. So you take care. I hope I can help you build your group. Talk tomorrow.